All right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio, reimagining radio in the information age. Hey, today we're going to implement a radio keyboard to keyboard chat rooms, chat rooms on the radio, this time on KM6 LYW Radio. <laughs> All right, still doing the bumper music. Welcome back. A little Pink Floyd in the background there. So a little background on amateur radio networking. We've got a networking protocol called AX.25, and it's a lot like internet stuff, only it's a little less wordy, a little less overhead, really simple stuff, and uses amateur radio call signs as nodes or repeaters or routers. So uh, this is a typical AX.25 stream here. I don't know if I can zoom it in. Um, these are radios uh, that are just transmitting on 145.050 here in California. Um, you see a lot of routing. You see the different nodes names here. A lot of beacons, a lot of people talking keyboard to keyboard. We're seeing the routing tables update themselves dynamically uh, for NetROM. Um, but this is kind of hard to read. I mean, you have to be like read the matrix output, right, <laughs> to understand what's going on here. A lot of control information. Um, it doesn't really lend itself to be like a modern chat room, which is like what a lot of people expect today. Um, they don't want to watch an AX.25 protocol stream. Uh, so let's create an actual chat room where we just have names and call signs and people talking to each other. Um, no repeats, no acknowledgments, no control packets. Um, there's two different ways we can do that. We can use a traditional IRC chat server. You guys might remember IRC, still popular today. And then there's a new thing, well, new to me anyway, it's called Converse. Uh, it's kind of more radio oriented, but it works just like IRC. So let's do both and then you decide which is best. Um, I'm going to be using the DigiPi here today. Uh, go to digipi.org if you'd like to get a... Uh, Raspberry Pi online connected to your radio here that you can access with your phone or Wi-Fi or web browser. Um, right now, one of the modes for DigiPi is AX.25 node network. And I, if you watched one of my previous videos, I actually built a node way up on the hill. It's called Cool, the Cool node, um, and it really gets out all over California. So uh, I modified that DigiPi just a little bit up on the hill, the Cool node and added these chat room services. So these aren't on DigiPi today, but they will be in the future. Um, you know, let me know what you'd like to see on future versions of DigiPi. Of course, we'll automate all of this. Um, but for right now, if you want to set up chat rooms on your DigiPi, and this is kind of how it's done. All right, this is where it gets fun. We've got a command line open on our DigiPi, which is up on the hill, and it's called Cool. It's a cool AX.25 node. It's hooked up to a radio. It's got a big antenna up there. And this is a command prompt here. Now, this is just a stock DigiPi, um, digipi.org, if you want to learn more about that. And it's running an AX.25 uh, node network right now, but I want to add a chat server. I'm going to start with IRC chat, which is kind of the de facto gold standard for chat rooms been around for decades. And then I also want to look at uh, Converse, which is a little more radio oriented, radio friendly, um, and it works just like IRC. Um, I'll let you decide which is better. Um, we're not going to use IP over AX.25. We're going to stick it out with the AX.25 network protocol, which is fine, which means we're going to add these chat services to the bulletin board that runs on cool node that's on the hill that where we have the command prompt here. Um, so first thing we want to do, actually, I want to see what it's called. Uh, uh, D package dash list grep erc D. I've got a couple of things installed here. Um, IRD, IRC D dash hybrid is the erc server that I've installed here. So you just do apt install erc D dash hybrid. Okay. And that'll install the erc server. And if you want to configure it, you can see the etc erc D dash hybrid. And there's config files here. You can do your message of the day, ERCD.conf. Um, you know, you can read the man pages on this if you want to set up your ERC server and just kind of dial it in exactly how you want. Um, once ERCD is running or installed and running, you can actually connect to it using any off-the-shelf IRC server. In fact, I've, or IRC client, I've actually got Hex chat here, which is pretty cool. You can see I'm logged into uh, the cool server um, mode let me do uh, servers connected to cool. Uh, my nick is Krager, and I'm on channel radio, pound radio. So that's kind of how IRC works. And I can say, hey, this is Craig, okay? But, you know, I'm the only one on the channel, so that's not very exciting. So that's hex chat connected to an ERC-D server that's on DigiPi over the internet or, or Wi-Fi. You don't really need internet, but, you know, Wi-Fi is cool. But that's this is a channel about amateur radio, so let's do this over RF, okay? So one thing we want to modify on our Raspberry Pi is uh, 
yeah, etc ax25 uro node.conf. Okay. This is the bulletin board configuration file. And I added a, a real simple line here called the uh, IRC. And it's an external command that you can run from the bulletin board. The line looks just like this. It actually runs a shell script on which we can look at here. And it just runs the IRC client on the DigiPy and connects to localhost on your IRC port. And it filters out some garbage nonsense that the server always spews out all the time. So that's it. So edit the uro node.conf and then have it run a command that looks a lot like this or exactly like this. Um, so let's see, I think we're up and running right now on an IRC chat server. So let's go over to a DigiPy, the one right here, the one in our shack, and we're going to connect to the cool node, and there's a utility called AX Call. And I'm going to connect to node cool and say connect. Here we go. We're on our way. We're connecting over RF. I think you can hear it. It says connected to cool, and there's our menu. And this, uh, I added some command line options, you know, know when I edited uronode.conf, um, I added a chat option. So one of the commands we have now is chat. Another command is IRC. Let's do the IRC command. And it was going to connect to the IRC chat server over RF. You can see I'm logged in, uh, KM6LYW. I'm on channel radio. It's also telling me Krager is on the channel as well. Remember we got our IRC chat uh, client here. So let's pull this up and let's talk to ourselves only briefly. Okay. Cause I know that's pretty weird. So on the radio, I can say, Hey Craig, this is me on RF. And we see over here in our chat client there, it says, Hey Craig, this is me on RF. And then I can say, Hey Craig, this is me from Wi-Fi." bunch of exclamation points. And we see down here on our RF client, it's working. So we totally got a chat room and you can do stuff like, uh, I don't know, you can change your nick to say, I don't know, Craig RF. And then it says now KM6LYW is now known as Craig RF, all kinds of stuff. So all the ERC commands are available to you. Um, one caveat here I've noticed that on the RF side, if you put in a really long message, you can actually, there's, a, there's kind of a glitch, a buffer glitch in AX.25 where it'll actually close the connection. So it's not perfect yet. Um, I'm working with some AX.25 and URO node people to kind of get that fixed. But how about this? We've got a DigiPy bulletin board with an IRC command that connects us to an IRC chat server that may or may not be on the internet. That, so you can talk to people that have an IRC chat client. I mean, you can get IRC clients on just about every platform. This happens to be Linux, but you can get them for your phone. Hey, maybe the XOIL wants to join your DigiPy IRC chat server and you can talk to her over the radio, right? And she doesn't necessarily need a uh, amateur radio radio license uh, because you are the control operator for automated control for your DigiPy. So that's IRC and say, hey, this is fun, you know, and then it that's from the internet and we see it on RF from Krager. So anyways, that's IRC chat. That's pretty cool. Now to quit, we can just do quit and it kicks us back to our bulletin board. It says end of command and we can see we're back on the URO node here on DigiPy. So like I said before, there's another command called ch uh, chat, which is actually, let me see if I can scroll up here, a uh, command we added called chat. Let me see if I can pull it up here. This is urnode.conf, and the chat command that we've added is just an alias for telnet, and it telnets to localhost on port 3600 where we have a Converse server installed. In fact, I can pull that up here. Um, we want to go out to this URL, which is way too long that I will put in the notes. And it says building and configuring a Converse D server. You download the .zip file, um, CD, home, pi, git. Um, the compilation instructions are pretty simple. I know you guys, I don't like compiling stuff necessarily easier, but this, this one's pretty actually pretty easy. Um, CD Ampere. Um, this is the source code for it, and it, ultimately what you get is Converse D, which is the server, and then you get the Converse command, which is the client. And this works just like IRC, you guys, only it's, it's much more suited to amateur radio. Um, so once that in is installed, it's up and running. Um, you can actually do a PS to see if it's actually here somewhere. Here it is. Converse D is actually running right now and waiting for connections either from the internet or from uh, RF. Um, so let me go back here. I've got a command line syntax um, that's hard to remember. So to, to fire up the client here, um, I'm going to do this 
And I'm going to give myself a uh, SSID of PC. So I'm going to run converse dash L, my call sign, um, dash S for the server localhost 3600. We're going to run that. It's which says, hey, welcome to Cool Chat. And it shows us some commands. And, you know, add these commands, you know, so people know, like, simple commands. There's like hundreds of commands, right? So just give them a chance on how to quit, how to join, how to leave. Now, the difference between Converse and IRC is the chat rooms are numbered. So you can't just create a pound radio chat room like we had with IRC. Um, it sees now that I've joined, we actually create a channel when we join. We're on channel one and say, hey, um, hey, I'm on channel one on uh, uh, via Wi-Fi because uh, we're on a command prompt here. Now that would have gone out to everyone in the channel. So let's connect our radio to the Converse server. So we've still got our bulletin board here. Oop, I hit a few carriage returns there. I um, mean, if you type question mark on the DigiPy bulletin board, you can see all the commands and you'll see one of them is called chat. This is actually gonna be the Converse chat. All right, here we go, going into chat. Over here in the green is the actual channel stream, which is kind of annoying to read. Um, so here we are. It says, you are now talking on channel one. There are two users. The last message was 24 seconds ago. And over here on the PC, it says, KM6LYW at cool joined channel one. Um, so I can do stuff like, um, let's see. Uh, hey, this is me transmitting on RF. And we see over here, KM6LYW, this is me transmitting on RF, cool. All right, and say, hey, this is me transmit on or via Wi-Fi. Remember, this is Converse. It looks a lot like IRC. And then we see down here, KM6LYW-PC. So I'm, this is, gets confusing if you don't use an SSID. Um, uh, this is me transmitting via Wi-Fi. And I can do stuff like change my nick, um, Craig, RF. And it says uh, KM6LYW is now known as Craig RF and say, hey, I just changed my nick. And then over on the PC, we can see my nickname is a little more robust now. Um, so this is um, cool in that it will support not just one-to-one -one communication, which is what you get with Paracon and Linpack. Um, don't get me wrong, these are fantastic pieces of software where they're just one-to-one -one communication, right? Uh, yeah, I talk to you, you talk to me. It's channelized, you don't have to watch all of the, the control characters. But with IRC chat, and Converse chat on a bulletin board, multiple people can join this room. I mean, I don't know how many, honestly. Um, I'm thinking maybe five or six, depending on how well the conditions are. Because um, this is AX.25, so if a packet gets dropped, there's an acknowledgement process, there's a retransmit process. So um, if everything's working great and people aren't going through too many digipeters, it's just fine. Now, I've talked to people all over California. Um, it works in that regard. In fact, I've got a... Uh, an example video here um, of an unsolicited user coming up. This is Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. I asked Ryan if he could uh, <laughs> do a demonstration. So this is Ryan and I chatting. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty hard to read. <laughs> I'll get I'll get just this over here. And this was working on my Mac, of course. Let me make this a little bigger. Um, we're hanging out talking about AX.25 stuff. So I just decided to record this conversation to give you an idea of a, what a kind of an organic. Uh, conversation looks like here on uh, Converse. And you can see this is KO6FLH. Um, he's telling me a little bit more about the infrastructure that we have on 145050, um, you know, because a lot of these nodes have weird names like Woody or Barry or John. Um, it says, I wasn't sure what Woody meant. So did you select DigiPeters or using NetROM? Um, so anyways, we had a conversation that lasted, I don't know, a long time here. I'm just flipping through it. Um, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and it was just he and I, and I'd like to get some more people on there just to see um, how, you know, wh what what can we do to break the server? That's what I'd like to know. All right, so this is Converse. We already did IRC. I think I'm going to leave, I'm going to build Converse into, um, into DigiPy, and I'll just make it really easy for you guys to use and install. I'll, I'll, I'll put that chat command in there. Um, so when people want to connect to your node, you can certainly do that. Um, and you already know how to run this uh, from the command line. I'm going to say quit. And again, the command line on your DigiPy, if you want to open a shell and go there, you can do that. Um, even if you don't have a shell, I actually put one on DigiPy. So you can actually do a shell like this too, right? Or you can use PuTTY or what Windows people use. 
Um, I can go SSH to my node. I could run IRC chat client here if I wanted to. Um, let me log in here. So here we are, we've got a command prompt where we can actually run the converse line on our DigiPy node via web browser. And here we are, we just joined. You know, it's really that simple here. So converse, I'm thinking is pretty cool since it's radio oriented, it's not too wordy. There are a bunch of commands here. Um, I don't know if I do slash help, you can see them all here. Uh, you only need five or six of these commands, to be honest. Uh, but it work, looks and works a lot like IRC. So if you know IRC, you already know how Converse works. Hey, a big shout out to the patrons of the channel here. Um, there's a reason why you didn't see a bunch of advertisements at the beginning or in the middle of this video. And that's thanks to the, these guys. That's Mark, Steve, Stores Cake, Andrew, Jeremy, Paul, Brian, Chris, Leah, and Jim, Steve, Buddy Brown, Robert, Kevin, Aaron, William, Scott. Hey, I can't read all the names. I wish I could, uh, but I, I do have a scroller here. I don't know, maybe, maybe we can get through it with the scroller. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, you're really helping fund this channel and keeping it uh, ad free. Um, so. What's cool is all of these people have access to the DigiPy, which means they're all on amateur radio using data modes in a really easy way. So DigiPy is at digipy.org. That's what we've been using throughout this video. Um, that bulletin board that we were using is pre-installed here. Um, you just click on next to AX.25 node and the bulletin board is up and running. A future version of DigiPy will have the Converse and IRC servers on there. Uh, but once you're a patron, you can get download the SD card image and burn it to SD and you insert it in a Raspberry Pi. It looks, well, it doesn't look like this. It is exactly like this. And there's a little optional screen here. So this Raspberry Pi, you guys, is $18, okay? And this little screen is $12. Get the screen because it just looks cool. That's what you could see over here <laughs> the whole time. Um, so again, really cheap. Of course, you could run this in a Raspberry Pi 5 as well. Same SD card, doesn't matter if you just want a bigger format. Again, digipy.org. Every data mode that we talk about on this channel is on Digipy. Um, there's a list of them here on the Digipy homepage. This is Digipy displaying on your phone. Um, all the APRS modes you can think of, the bulletin board mode that we just talked about, WinLink email, uh, HF email, um, and the apps like WSJTX, SlowScan, FL Digi, SJSA Call. All of those things actually run on Digipy while it's connected to your radio. And when those, those apps actually display on your phone or or any Wi-Fi device, or I should say any web browser. Um, so it's really that simple. Um, here's some examples of DigiPy builds. You guys are sending me pictures of DigiPy, which is so cool. I don't know why, I just love to see pictures of your builds. You guys are a lot more creative than I am. Um, so some cool DigiPy builds with different audio interfaces. Um, this is APRS web chat that we've implemented. Um, so, you know, this. This is totally makes amateur radio accessible. I mean, we can do chat just like we would on a phone. We can text each other over the radio. Um, and of course, um, yeah, the stuff we talked about today, the node services, um, we've got WSJTX, we've got JSA Call, FL Digi, and it all runs on your phone like that their phone app. So anyways, that's DigiPy, you guys, and it goes to patrons of the channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh, DigiPy.org. Hey, my name is Craig, amateur radio call sign KM6LYW. I'm in California. <laughs> I'm clear.